in the name of God, the compassion, the merciful. In this video, I want to explain the new capability of Abacus 2019 for uh, shape memory alloys. Uh, in this capability, you don't need to write any subroutine, and this uh, covers uh, the uh, shape memory behavior and superelastic behavior for these materials. So, well, I want to model a very small and simple shell. I go to this and choose these options and draw a square. The post dimension should be 40. I change it to 40 okay and then we go to next module and define SMA to, uh, to go and define these materials first of all we should define the elastic property the elastic property is the property of the material that uh, in which this material is on that phase. For example, if your material is in austenite phase, you should feel austenite young modulus and Poisson's ratio. Or if your material is in martensite phase, you should feel the property that is related to this phase. Okay. In my case, my material is in austenite phase, so I feel uh, the property that is about the austenite. In the property of my material is this, and I feel okay. And then I go to the last option that is added uh, the in the abacus version of. 2019 and newer versions so I feel the property that is related to this material and uh, these are these are shown in this diagram we can feel easily and so I feel them Uh, at the Martin Zeiss Poisson ratio transformation strain this refers to these this uh, distance uh, the distance that is um, if we continue this line and measure the distance in x axis it is it is uh, 0 0.09 in my material, it, this this value is zero point oh nine, and if you have a stress steering curve, you can find it. So I feel, and then uh, we go to the next option, and according my stress steering diagram, I can feel it. And the start of transformation comparison refers to this point. If your uh, graph uh, continues in comparison, you can feel it. The distress that is the material uh, going to uh, trans phase transformation uh, in comparison. It is uh, 450 and you should feel the positive value. And uh, the reference temperature is also in my materials data. Loading and unloading is the slope of uh, the temperature uh, graph for the shape memory alloys. 
uh, and you can you find it if you have the temperature property of your material and the value of fill variable that triggers shape setting is uh, you can find it from your uh, material property but if you don't have it uh, you can enter zero and uh, I feel it okay for the next one I want to go to the go to the next option and feel the another one okay I define the material so I go to define a section and uh, start homogen homogeneous continue okay and assign section to the part okay then we go to assembly and press create instance it is the default setting is okay and we go to a step create a step uh, a static general and continue and uh, in the incrementation part I enter uh, 0 0.1 and press OK the default setting is OK OK uh, I go to load and define a boundary condition and load first I define I should define boundary condition for the initial I define this boundary condition and then create for step one boundary condition to for this point and choose for all uh, options okay I go to the load manager and create a pressure load pressure type it is tension load but the type of load is pressure okay and I go to this part and enter the negative value to have a tension load uh, for loading and unloading I should uh, define a table and to achieve that I go and define amplitude 1 insert row after 0 0 0.5 and 1 amplitude of 1 no 0 1 and 0 ok and I choose amplitude 1 and press ok then I go to a mesh I choose part and the distance of seeds is ok and I press ok and the mesh type I choose cut medial axis and then I mesh ok after all these modules I go and create a job and accept all the default setting and I go and submit the job and we can see the running and the result of running we can go to monitor and see that the running have been ended and go to result so I want to draw a graph uh, for my material I press create and press ODB field output and in a strain I choose in 
x direction and a stress in x direction and uh, edit I press edit selection and select one element and then press down and then plot it you can plot and see the stress strain diagram and I want to show you I press create and choose operate on XY data and choose combine choose one of these the strain and the stress and then press plot expression okay uh, you can the stress uh, see the stress strain diagram and understand that these uh, setting is okay and we can understand that we can use this mod module to uh, define shape memory alloys okay I want to show you the better graph so I go to this and edit it in x direction it is No, it is in x direction and this one is okay this is okay but in load I increase it 1000 and Uh, for property should see if the parameter is entered correctly these are okay both of them are okay both elastic and super elastic and then submit again Okay, you can see the result of it. S in X direction. X direction. So, I want to get a graph. Press what is the output. Uh, edit selection I choose one of them for example this one the value is okay and I create and choose combine Okay, these have not been saved. So, again, I choose. Okay, now 
you can see this graph it is okay the problem is the value of loading and the value of loading is not having uh, reached to the end of tra phase transformation uh, we should increase it to see the result okay uh, I want I hope you have seen the result and understand and get information about these materials good luck